Hi, welcome to the MBK Upcycle Lab. We are going to fix a liquid damaged Mac keyboard the proper and easy way. I've seen a lot of videos about fixing liquid damaged keyboards with tap water. What a load of rubbish. Fair dinkum, who thought of that? Let's do it properly. Let's do it safely. Let's give it a rinse with isopropylene alcohol. This process will work on the Apple wireless keyboard like this one here, or it'll work on the wired keyboard. Uh, it's pretty much all the same, irrespective of what you have. Please take note of a bit of a caveat. This will only work on fresh spills. Um, if you spilt liquid or some sort of beverage on your keyboard a couple of weeks ago, this process isn't going to work uh, whatsoever. You need your keyboard to still be a little bit wet. Okay, to get going, you're going to need three things. First of all, you're going to need isopropylene alcohol, 99%. You're going to need about one litre of it or two pints. Don't get rubbing alcohol. It is watered down and it will not do the job. You can pick up isopropylene alcohol from your local chemist, hardware store, department store. Secondly, you're going to need a scrubbing brush with light bristles like this one here. And last of all, you're going to need a bucket, slightly larger than your keyboard. All you have to do, first of all, is if it's a wired keyboard, disconnect the keyboard from the uh, computer, obviously, or if it's a wireless keyboard, take the battery out. Next step, put the keyboard in the bucket, like so and pour in your isopropylene alcohol. Make sure you use this in a well ventilated area. It is quite fumy. Also, keep this stuff away from sparks or sources of ignition. It's very flammable. So just exercise a little bit of common sense. The next step is to slosh it around a little bit. Get that alcohol to work its way through the keyboard. If you have any uh, residue from the liquid spill, give the top of it a bit of a scrub as well. Flip the keyboard upside down. Give it a bit of a slosh around again, just to get all that foreign liquid out. Flip it around again, give it a bit more of a slosh. The great thing is isopropylene alcohol dries without any residue, so it won't actually do any damage to your keyboard whatsoever. As soon as you're confident you have all your liquid out of it, whether it be orange juice or wine or beer or whatever the case, just let it sit there for a couple of minutes. After it's soaked for a while, take your keyboard out of the bucket. Just get all that excess isopropylene alcohol off. Put your keyboard back down on the bench again. Dispose of the isopropylene alcohol in a safe manner in accordance with your local town rules and regulations. Get some high absorbent paper and just wipe down the keyboard. Okay. Give it a final shake and 
just let it dry naturally for a couple of days. Uh, put the batteries back into it or if it's a corded keyboard, plug it in, give it a try, see how you go. As always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. If you've heard of any other wacky ways that people have cleaned up their liquid damaged keyboards or let us know how you went yourself, leave it in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you for visiting the MBK Upcycle Lab. Hooroo! And we'll see you next time.